I think I'm gonna enchant my new diamond pick first, so let's see what we get. Oh, okay, fortune 2 and efficiency 3. Not bad, not the worst. At least we have some amount of fortune now. Let's try and enchant my chest plate too, and ugh, fire protection. I guess that's okay for the nether. Let's just do that for now. Hey guys, Trash here, and welcome back to my hardcore survival island. We are on day 50 of 100, and we have a lot to accomplish this episode, so let's get right into it. Before we do anything else, we got two names for our little fishy friends, so let's take them over to the anvil and rename them. Here we have Salmonella, which I love, and joining her we have Carrie Fisher, both very punny names. Thank you to Bales the Bulbasaur for the comments, and we still have one fishy without a name if anyone else has any ideas. Now that they have names, they need a new home to live in, so we're going to build them a little pond over here in the corner of my island. Kind of ironic that they are living in a little pond right next to the huge ocean, but we can't have them escaping. And don't worry, I use salt water, so they should be just fine. Now we have to add some kelp and plants over here so they feel at home. And here you go, Salmonella and Carrie Fisher. I hope you like your new home. Thanks for keeping me company on my deserted island. Okay, now the main goal we have for this episode is to set up the skelly spawner we found and turn it into a bone and arrow farm. For that we're going to need a chest, a hopper, some carpet, which I'm glad we have the string to make the wool, and then some glass and a trapdoor. Okay, that should be everything, so let's head down into the caves to our spawner and get to work. It looks like we left some chests down here, so that's handy because we can use them to store our extra materials. I think if we dig down over here, we should break into the mine shaft. And yep, it's right there. We can use this space as a staging area and eventually where we will be farming the skeletons. So let's throw down a double chest right there and throw all our extra junk and farm supplies in it real quick. Now, I'm going to kind of speed through the actual building of the farm here, as most of you have probably seen a mob grinder be built before, and there are lots of videos out there that would explain it much better than I can. But we're just going to dig it out four blocks on every side and three blocks down, and I even found some surprise diamonds while I was doing that, so that was super exciting. Nine more diamonds! I had an idea for the part where the mineshaft intersects with the spawner, and luckily there is a geode right here, so I'm just going to, um, gracefully fall in real quick and get some amethyst shards. They make such a pretty noise. With those shards, I'm going to make some tinted glass and then cover this part of the mineshaft with it. I love that they added tinted glass to the game, it's so fun to use in mob farms. I won't be able to see it from the lower room, but we can watch it from the other side if we want to. Now I know a bubble elevator with a drop chute would be much more efficient, but I don't have silk touch or any way of getting ice at the moment, and I'm not really sure how to make it without the ice, so we're just going to make a simple water funnel to push them down and drop them right in front of me. I don't need anything crazy, I just need to get some bones and arrows and levels to get me ready to fight the dragon. Let's expand this room a little bit and then get the last pieces put in real quick so we can start farming. I'm just putting a single chest with a hopper in it, if I can manage to jump and shift and place all at the same time. Okay, we did it. And then we put our carpet over the hopper and get our glass and trap door in place and we're good to go. Now for the scariest part of building this skelly farm, getting rid of the torches. I don't want to accidentally get shot off this dirt. I mean, I probably could fight my way out of it, but let's not risk that. We are in hardcore after all. Got the first one. Now just the one on top. Okay, we got it. Ah, time to move. Danger. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Infinite arrows, here we come. Speaking of infinite, we're also going to add an infinite water source over in this corner of the room, because you never know when you're going to need water, and then let's get to making this room a little bit cuter than it's looking now. Okay, now the farm is way back in the mine shaft and it's kind of a maze to get to it. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten lost down here. Whoop, diamonds! So we're gonna make a hallway that leads us straight to the main cave. Not today, pal! Now let's head back up to the surface real quick and do some enchanting. Look at that sunrise. 
Let's see if we can get some protection on this armor. Or, okay, sharpness 4. I definitely want that. I'm actually going to make a new sword real quick and put it on that one, I think. Okay, let's see what else we get. Just sharpness 4. Wow, thanks enchanting table. And protection 4 and unbreaking 3 on the leggings. Well, that's a good enchant at least. I'm super happy with that. Now back into the caves for more levels. And of course you know I've got to add some glow berries down here too. Now as I was heading back up, I stopped to get some redstone that was right at the entrance to the tunnel and something super lucky happened. I turned around to see this fine gentleman and I couldn't believe my eyes, so obviously I tried to learn back through the tunnel so I could trap him. Of course I almost got trapped in the hole I just dug redstone out of, but I managed to get out without hurting him or myself too badly and he followed me back. I made a boat as he was harassing me and I trapped him in it and protected him with some dirt walls real quick. I grabbed my extra spider eyes and headed up to make a potion of weakness to cure my new best friend. When I kid you not, I somehow got even luckier, like a level of luck that never happens to me in Minecraft, and another zombie villager was coming towards me. I was literally in shock. I didn't even plan on having any villagers during this hundred days because it seemed like it would be way too time consuming to mess with, but these guys just walked right up to me. Okay guys, this is so exciting. I have two zombie villagers trapped in boats right now, so let's go up and make some golden apples and potions of weakness, and we can start our trading empire. I did not expect this episode to go this way, but let's Let's do this. Okay, small problem. I have the sugar cane for sugar and the spider eyes, but I don't have any brown mushrooms yet. The good news is I know where some are, but the bad news is they're in the nether, my least favorite place. Let's see if we can get a good bow enchantment before we head in there. Okay, not bad. And then let's uh, not procrastinate at all by getting our gold smelting and making a grindstone real quick and our second golden apple. We'll put our grindstone there and then enchant our other bow. Okay, awesome. We can make power five. That's good. I'm gonna need that. And that sword sucks. I have no idea why I didn't disenchant it, but I guess I want the knockback for my creeper issues. But at least we have a very nice bow now. That's a relief. Okay, guys, no more procrastination. We're heading back into the nether. I remember seeing some mushrooms fairly close to the portal, so we're gonna run in and grab them as fast as we can and get out of there. Wish me luck. Oh good, there they are. Okay, we survived. Let's get our fermented spider eye and start making these potions. Uh, was that a phantom? Terrifying. Okay, potions of weakness acquired. Let's also make a bunch of beds so we can get more villagers and some carrots and decoration blocks and then let's take these enchanted books that we are never going to use and disenchant them so we can make a lectern and get a librarian that will sell us as many bookshelves as we could ever want and then we will never have to hunt hoglins ever again. Alright guys, I think we have everything we need. Let's go cure some villagers and work on getting some good enchanted books. Howdy! Oh, hello. Uh, welcome to the island, I guess. Enjoy your stay. I gotta go. Oh good, you're still here. Okay, I just need to move you a little closer to your friend. Okay, no, no, you don't have to hit me. I'm trying to save you. Okay. Anyway, here, have some of this. And some of these. There, that'll make you feel better soon. And maybe not so angry. Now, while they are curing up, we need to build them a nicer room, since this is where they will probably be living out the rest of their days. So let's just clear it out a little bit and get this area ready for a farm. Oh, zombie doctor. And this guy, too. You guys are cured! Okay, fine. They don't want to look at me, but I promise that they're grateful. Now, like I was saying, we're going to put a carrot farm over here with a composter so we can get a farmer villager to trade with and start getting some emeralds. And let's also set up some beds over here so they can start making babies. Okay, you guys are free now. Here, have some carrots. Yes, we have some hearts forming. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry I was staring at you during this private time. My bad. And we have a child. Welcome to the island, little guy. 
Okay, now let's get some carrot trade started in here and start making the big bucks. This guy has a pumpkin trade too for one pumpkin per emerald, which is great, so I'm gonna have to go get my pumpkins and start a pumpkin farm. Now let's start looking for books. Okay, Riptide 2. No, absolutely not. I think I want mending first because my armor is in bad shape and I don't really want to waste time mining for more diamonds. While they are sleeping though, we're gonna work on the room and make it a little more homey for my new friends slash prisoners. And when they are awake, I'll place and break this lectern about a million times until I get something good. Something good like mending. Of course, it could be the one emerald mending trade, but I'm on a schedule here, so seven emeralds works just fine for me. Since we don't have any books, I'll lock in the bookshelf trade, which was very lucky that we got that one with the mending, and get some books so we can get our first mending book. Whoops. Okay, back to decorating. I'm also going to build another carrot farm back here so the villagers can't interfere with it and get in my way when I'm trying to build up my carrot supply. And since the skelly grinder is giving me plenty of bones, I have a ton of bone meal to, to just keep getting more and more and more carrots. I'm also using my fortune pick to harvest them so I get even more. Now let's make another lectern and get another librarian going. Ooh, silk touch is very tempting, but I really need protection and I'm breaking right now, so I'm gonna pass it up, I think. Okay, looting too is actually pretty good, because I will need it for blaze rods for Eyes of Ender soon, and it will help me get even more bones and arrows. So I think I'm gonna take that and combine two of them for looting three. So let's lock him in, get some more emeralds, and get that looting too. Let's run back up and grab our anvil real quick so we can start combining stuff and putting it on our armor and tools. I put mending on my sword and I think I'll give it a name as well. I think that's fitting. I need to put a pumpkin farm in behind my carrot farm and I think it will fit well here so let's get some pumpkin seeds going in. Oh, hello. I guess we have an iron golem now. Okay, so I immediately got distracted from the pumpkin farm and bought another looting book and traded some pumpkins with the farmer who leveled up and also has a great melon trade so that's nice and then I went over and combined my looting books and I put it on Slicey Dicey and then I celebrated by killing some skeletons just for fun. Then I put mending on my leggings, so they're done now. Okay, distraction's over, back to the pumpkin farm now. And some more carrots, of course. We got our first pumpkin. Now we're looking for unbreaking. Any level is fine at this point, I just need it. Are you kidding me? I've never gotten mending on the first roll, and I don't even need it. <laughs> yes, unbreaking three, thank you. Kind of expensive, but worth it. I'm tired of breaking lecterns. Now we're at 36 levels again, so let's see if we can get something good. I think we should get rid of this fire protection chest plate and enchant it again. And yeah, that's much better. Let's throw mending on this guy and get it healed up. Golden carrots, yes please. Okay, we finally have a protection four trade and we only need two of them, which is good because they're expensive, but then we'll have full prop four armor. I ran back up top again real quick to make a diamond ax and another pick just to see if I can get something good on the enchanting table. And just efficiency four, which I guess is fine since we have the other books. And yes, fortune three, that's nice. Better than my other one if I throw some unbreaking on it. I seem to have too many carrots for just this one guy, so I'm going to go make another composter and get another carrot trade set up. Okay, that's much better. Okay guys, we've spent a ton of time down in this cave, but now we have fully enchanted tools and armor, a ton of arrows, and golden carrots. So that's amazing progress that I did not expect to make, and we have all these new friends! Now let's head back to the surface and build something cute on the island. Hi Salmonella, hi Carrie Fisher, how are you guys? Anyway, let's grab some blocks for building. I'm thinking I'm just going to put a little fishing hut right here behind me. It doesn't really have a purpose, it's mostly just to fill out the island, but I think it'll look really cute, so let's get into it.
Okay guys, I hope you like my little fishing hut. I especially like the diagonal dock even though it was a little tricky to figure out. Anyway, it is officially day 75. We have survived 75 days so far and that means we only have 25 more days and that we will be fighting the ender dragon soon. I'm feeling pretty prepared but a little nervous. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next episode.